welcome to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to install Jump League Plus on your server. Um, yeah. First of all, um, I have to say I'm from Germany, so um, sometimes there are some German um, yeah, parts like in Windows uh, or something else. So don't uh, wonder. <laughs> okay. Now I will start. Um, first of all, um, we have to download our plugin. It's uh, named Jumpleague Plus. And yeah, that we do now. So, um, a second part, we have uh, to download Multiworld. As you can see here, I have to open it and I will download it from my external website. Here for bucket, you can click download and it will download it. Um, same for the Jump League API. Um, yeah, it's the uh, plugin uh, to add an API, so if you are a developer and you want to work with events, you can use this for events, probably maybe or maybe later, uh, later more events. Um, and yeah, but if you're not, you have also to install it because it's a part of Jumpy Plus. So now we have three plugins, and uh, yeah, we will put it in our test server. Here's our test server, I made it, and yeah. First of all, we start our test server. And loading the libraries, we have to wait, and it stops it um, directly. And it says we have to add the ruler to through. So we save it, and maybe we will edit the pro. Oh, okay, we can't see them. Okay, we start the server again, and let the server create everything we need. Take a little bit, but we're ready in some seconds. And yeah, we're ready. We can stop the server and configure it. First of all, um, we put our three plugins in the plugins uh, folder. So now we have three plugins in our plugins folder. Now we will add the server properties. First of all, we will um, set it to uh, jump leash plus. The second part, we will set it to 12 players. And that is uh, all of it. We can save it now and close it. We run the server um, not directly again, because first of all, I will install some maps. Um, I've uh, thought about the map Var uh, Mario vs Mario as DM map uh, for the deathmatch uh, because in Jump League you have to play a deathmatch and I think this is maybe a good map uh, yeah, to play at it. So we will download it and now it's uh, like a little bit German because you see it's German. Here we uh, download it, like download, so and we get the folder. And um, now um, I think Lobby Arcade, I thought this, uh, I think it's a good a map for as Lobby, so we will download it. And yeah, we're finished. And now we have only to open this uh, to archives. We will save something and we can close it. You can see here it is, and so we will take lobby in this part, and here you can see the Vario, a Mario vs Vario by Frozen Time. We can close both archives, and we have our test server. So we delete the world, the lobby we set as world, and yeah. Um, the second time is uh, Mario vs. Vario, we set as a deathmatch map. Um, and as you see, um, it's like in German umbenen and uh, it's like refactor. So don't uh, be wondering. Uh, now we will start the server again. And it will create a server. So. Yes, we're ready now. Um, refreshing, we're seeing our server with 12 slots. And we're connecting. So, um, 
now um, we got an error in the uh, console this is a point because uh, we haven't set the spawn yet so uh, we made um, game mode uh, we, we set this in game mode one ah after being with myself another uh, game mode one and yeah uh, we will watch where we can set up a spawn location I think this point is a very good spawn location so we will set slash uh, uh, first of all we will say, uh, give in, um, type in the uh, command line uh, yot, uh, 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 while uh, build info and build info and we'll check um, all uh, first of all it uh, that to us we have to create a world and we create but our plugin double point uh, jump leech plus um, you haven't uh, to use um, multi world as well you can also use um, multi world but I recommend that multi world because multi world has much more features you will see it um, while I'm creating a world first of all we have to load it now so we uh, give a type in the command line and we load that L and we were waiting. So the world's loaded successfully and yeah, that's the first part. Now we have to set the lobby with JL set lobby. Uh, well is set lobby. And the lobby is set now. So we can go here. Uh, oh, uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, I don't think we will connect the world. Oh, no. oh yes. Okay. Um, yeah, now we can see the complete to-do list. And we have uh, Yellow Phoenix 18 joined the game. Um, yeah, as you can see, your Jump League Plus server isn't configured yet. Seven errors have to be fixed. First of all, um, we have not in, uh, enough modules with type easy, not enough modules with type normal, and not enough modules with type hard. Not enough dash ma uh, deathmatch maps, mid is not set, the um, spectator spawn is not set, spawns are not set. Okay, so what we have to do. Um, as I said, we can t uh, type in the command line YL uh, build info and we can uh, check everything. So first of all, we have to create our schematics. Um, I, will make it, uh, uh, I will make it easy and create um, some schematics here. Mm, we will put to need to do okay i'm right back now uh first of all we will type yl schematic and we uh, have to uh, build something so you can see we have two points ah there there it is two points first point is here second point is here and we have to build something between it uh first of all i will make it uh, make the easy jump part and uh second of all i have to add something so a little bit I think it's easy it's the easy part okay and um, a second point we have to add um, um, uh, and a chest so we add it uh, to this block or next to the block and now we can jump it and I think it probably will work fine yes it will work fine don't stay at the pressure plates if you're saving this uh, yeah, jump and run um, because uh, it will make some errors. Okay, what we have to do now? Um, now we have to uh, do slash uh, yl save. Uh, then we have to set a uh, given a name. I think it's orange jump. Uh, and it's easy. And the creator is yellow phoenix 18. And Save schematic. So the file is uh, saved, and I think I will create a second one now, and a third one, and probably fourth one. Uh, first of all, I have to do your YL schematic again. I will do the same with with blue wool. It's very very simple, but um, I think it's the easiest way to make it fast you can see everything and yeah I'll put it again here and I will save it and we need uh, we uh, name it um, 
with blue jump. And it's ready. Same neck uh, uh, and next time. So we set the uh, uh, schematic. Uh, oops, I've saved it twice. Oh, that's, uh, that's a problem, but okay. Um, now we will do it in yellow. Uh, so we have, um, uh, it says four, uh, five easy, so we have set uh, it three times because we have set it um, double with uh, the blue jump, so we made it too easy and I think I will make every module easy because I have no time to make bigger modules. Okay. And I will save it as yellow jump. So uh, to um, yeah, make uh, this complete uh, whole task faster, I will stop the server. And I will make it a little bit easier. I'll go to the config uh, file. Um, here's the schematics file if, uh, folder. You can see the schematics. Here's the config file. We can edit it with Notepad++. And we have easy. The same we can add with normal. And we made them twice. Uh, we have to only for it for normal. So, pretty easy now and hard. Okay, so we set the complete um, yeah, time. So, is everything. Uh, we set the max players to 12, needed to 2, and that is, that's it. And we will start the server again. Okay. Uh, now we have to do some things. First, we'll uh, create a deathmatch map because we haven't loaded it yet. So that's the first thing I will do. So first, it says we have enough easy modules, we have enough normal modules, and we have enough hard modules. Uh, now we have to add deathmatch maps. First of all, we will uh, create a world with MV create, and then we will um, name it. Um, deathmatch. Second of all, we will load it with M MV load deathmatch. Okay, so it's loaded if successfully. We can um, we can slash jl add map and add the uh, add the map. Uh, we do slash jl help. Uh, while help. I'm saving uh, every I'm saying every time uh, jl, but it's yl while time and here you can see it uh, add map map name so we add the map with the name deathmatch the map is set successfully slash mv go to deathmatch and go on the map game mode one okay we go into game mode one and we see the map is a little bit Crazy. But okay, that's our map. Okay, um, first of all, uh, we have to set the spawns uh, and the mid. But the mid is not a problem. We will set the mid here. Um, the uh, yl yl set mid and then it's death match. Oh. Oh, wait a moment, I'll insert deathmatch with a big M, so we have to make it with a big M, my fault. Okay, second part, um, we will um, set the spectator spawn, I think we can set it inside of this, this, what it is, I don't know, I think it's a, a flower, but I'm not so sure, so, and we said set, set um, Spectator spawn and then also death match. And oh, made a mistake. Ah, it said, it said spec spawn. And we have set it, and now we have uh, to add the spawns with 
YL, set spawn, map name and spawn ID. So we have 12 players, so we have to set a spawn 1 to 12. For well, we will set YL, set spawn, map name, deathmatch and ID 1. So first spawn set, second spawn also, here's the third spawn, the fourth spawn, the fifth one, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth. Oh my god, so many spawns. <laughs> 10, 11, and 12. So we disconnect and we reconnect again and have to see everything is fine. And everything is fine. Please set ready to true in your config YML and reset the server. So everything is fine. Our server is set up as well as we want. And we can set the server to no, uh, uh, stop the server. We stop it. Sorry, my fault. We can go into plugins. Um, then we go to Jumblick Plus. We add it to config YML. And we set uh, ready to true. Oh, we didn't need bungee code, so it's enabled to false. If you need it, enable it and set your lobby name. So, now everything is fine. And we start the server. Uh, I have to start a second Minecraft because we have to play with two persons. I will switch the user, I will use Integer Phoenix and I will connect. First of all, I will connect to the game. And as you can see, there's no um, commenting of um, point that the um, server isn't ready. So, yeah. Now it's starting, because we have two players. Yeah, as you can see, first of all the game will start if two players online, integer feelings join the game, the game starts in 60 seconds. And as I thought, oh, I forgot to disable mob spawning. I think we have to do this that first. Uh, first of all, we disable the complete mob spawning. Um, you have to do this also with your server. Uh, go to... Um, your server and properties and disable mob spawning. So, uh, spawn monsters, faults, and spawn. We'll have a look, spawn NPCs, spawn animals, faults, and spawn NPCs also to faults. And now we will have it. We can start the server again and everything will be fine. Uh, yeah, take a time and so it's been started, we can connect with both accounts and it will start directly. We have to wait 60 seconds until the game starts. This time we can jump around here and here's the point, this uh, lobby map um, here have no barriers so we will fall out of the world. If you didn't want that the yeah, persons or players fall out of the world. Please, um, here, set the, um, set here some barriers. And I heard some skeletons. But I don't know where they are. Okay. I have to go in game mode 1, uh, no, uh, 0, I think, probably. And now I can see the levels. Oh, that's my fault. It's a very nice lobby map. I haven't uh, seen it before, but I thought it would be nice, and it is nice. So, yeah. Oh, and I have to fix that. <laughs> okay. So. We joined, and we see um, the lobby um, scoreboard, but it will take a time. In some seconds, if the game is starting, we will get the scoreboard of the normal. Here we can see module 1, Greater Yellow Phoenix 18, difficulty easy. We jump this jump part. And as you can see, um, I'm better than Integer Phoenix. 
But I think he will. Now he he won't uh, get me. I think. Probably yes. Probably no. And as you can see here, it's, it, it, it's an easy part to jump a little bit. And he is in the easy part too. And because of the point that we have set it uh, some more times than one time uh, with double parts, normally it would be um, that a new part will be here, um, a complete new part will be set. But because, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, because of the point that we have set um, double uh, two times um, orange, uh, oh, it's the direction, uh, orange jump uh, to the you know, config YML. It will um, yeah, put it two times if there is no other jump and run. But you will see it um, by uh, setting it up on your own server. It will create them every time in a different um, direct uh, in a different. Um, uh, oh, I don't know this name. Uh, it's, it's every time it's random. So um, sometimes you have this blue jump as a third normal uh, module. Sometimes at uh, for at, as fourth. So yeah, it's every time different. And yeah, as you can see, here is a little bit better loot. You can change it in the chest YML as well, uh, but I haven't changed it and I don't think it's uh, yeah, it's a good idea to change it at the moment because I didn't need it and it will take time. <laughs> okay, so we have to reach the checkpoint 10 of 10, we'll get our last items and we jump on the pressure plate and we get our yeah, diamond boots, we will take our items and we will tag our idol slots. So we're in deathmatch now and hopefully I don't fall there down there and I will kill him and first time I kill, killed him. Okay. A little bit laggy hopefully um it will work. Okay there is um is he as you can see he has only two lives left. I will kill him again and he's only one left uh, life left and I will kill him again and I won the game with three lives left I can get the items out of the ender chest yeah and that's it oh, oh I died okay uh, I died <laughs> and so resets and this is a jump leap plus hopefully you like it and hopefully uh, I could help you with this tutorial and we will see us next.